Hey, what's going on everyone? I first wanted to apologize right off the bat in this video for not uploading as much as I have lately. You guys, if you could understand with owning a business and uh, working for a business, and especially in the ice cream industry, which is me, that right now in these hot summer days, my business is booming to where I can't even keep up. To give you guys an idea, I start work at 3.30 in the morning, I don't get home till 10, 30, 11 at night. It's been like that this whole week. It's been really rough for me. I'm trying to get through it. I, I've tried to get you guys videos every day of this week and I haven't been able to. And for that, I apologize. I'm here. I'm back, hopefully. Hopefully I can start freeing up some more time for you guys. Okay. I have tints on the car. Okay. That's already done. Like right now. So the next video will probably be about tints this Sunday. Okay. In North Haven, North Haven CT. Okay, the BMW dealership on Washington Ave is supposed to have a car show. I will be there. That is my hometown. North Haven is my hometown. Okay, so if anybody is in local and wants to meet me, I ask if you come up to me to just be respectful, be respectful of my car, just like you would treat any other stranger or any other person. Uh, how you treat me is how I would treat you. So uh, with that out of the way, and, and that, they're supposed to have the car show. So don't quote me if something happens, whatever. So in this video strictly, I'm going to sit down with you guys. Well, okay, now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to just go over a little bit about myself. Okay, it seems like a lot of people are interested. I will try to keep it brief, but I will add detail where I see is needed. Okay, I get asked a million questions about myself. Uh, you know, I could tell you so much about myself. But there's also some things that I can't either say or won't say or is too private. So I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Some of, some of the stuff I'm going to tell you isn't necessarily good things and some of it is good things. I'm not a charity case. So don't leave in the comments that you feel bad for me because right now I'm doing better than I ever have in my life. So, you know, I'm just going to be brutally honest with you guys, okay? And... Anybody who gets involved in, in this type of story, this talk, watches my videos anyway. So um, clearly I'm telling the truth because I wouldn't just put anybody on blast for no reason. This video, video may seem boring to some of you, but if you truly want to kind of get to know who I am and how I kind of started getting into Dodge, how I became what I am today, this is that type of video. So a uh, brief history of myself, I guess, uh, born in New Haven, Connecticut. November 5th, 1999 was when I was born. I don't know the time uh, because my mom doesn't know, <laughs> but uh, I lived in North Haven, Connecticut for about six something years, or maybe less, maybe like five years. Okay. Uh, my dad was an oil truck driver at the time, married to my mother, and they were going through a divorce when we had this house that my dad actually built from the ground up. He bought farmland and he built it. So... I always grew up in this big, nice house and, you know, with, with my mom and my dad, okay? Now, during the time of us moving out of North Haven, you know, the, the doctor, so like, so we have to like backtrack again, I'm sorry, but like, so like when my mom was pregnant with me, okay, the doctor pulled my dad aside and asked if he knows if my mom does any drugs, okay? And he said, no, my mom was a straight arrow, yada, yada. Well, turns out that that wasn't true. Now, my sister, who was born two years before me, didn't experience any effects from drugs or nothing because she wasn't doing them at the time. When she was pregnant with me is when it started. And nobody caught on until after I was born or right around the time that I was born. So you may ask what drugs. I don't know what drugs at the time, but uh, I know crack was involved. Um, I don't think any heroin, but alcohol um, and maybe some other stuff. I couldn't really tell you, but crack is for sure involved. Uh, I've seen it firsthand of use from her. So, and this is not to shame anybody. This is not to shame my mom. You know, we're, we're at a different state right now than the past, but I'm just going to tell you guys how it is. Okay. So dad was an old truck driver. And at the time, my mom actually was working at, I believe, Chase Bank. And this is before Chase Bank was like really, really big. And she actually was like, like, like this, what, uh, like the head owner of Chase Bank. And back in 1999, my mom probably made over six figures and my dad also made six figures. So... My mom made a little more at the time. So, you know, in today's day, that's like 200K a year. Okay. In 1999, making 100, 
thousand and over. So to give you guys like an idea, you know, so they had a nice house. The house recently sold for like in the 500s, 550 area. So to give you an idea, um, today's market. So we lived in the nice house for, I think four or five, maybe like seven years, so, somewhere around there. I'm not really too sure. And then we moved to Hamden during the divorce for six years. And during the divorce, things got really rough. Okay, this is when my life kind of took a, a spiral uh, downward, I, I guess you could say. This is where it all started. I saw way too much when I was way too young. Um, you know, I had my mom pick me up and um, she's assaulted me before. Uh, and this is really not to put any shame on her. I'm just going to tell you guys how it was and kind of like the type of person I am. And the type of person I am is from my past. So, you know, I'm not really like scarred from anything, but there's things I for sure will never forget. And... Um, Mind you, my dad was a straight arrow throughout all this. We, you know, we had some issues, but nothing even close. Normal parent. But uh, my mom, being the way she is, taught me a lot. So I kind of like almost thank her, but I really hate to see it happening to one of my own. But um, so, yeah, you know, with the drugs heavily involved, I mean, you're talking she uh, made an attack on me and my sister when it was just us three home. I'm no one to go to. Uh, called the police. You know, they escorted her out of the house, all that stuff. Uh uh, she pulled out needles on us. I mean, crazy stuff. She uh, she flipped the car with me in it when I was young. Uh, they had to use the jaws of life to rip us out of it. Um, so I'm lucky to even be alive. But, you know, so then, you know, fast forward, my dad and my mom separate and I'm in Hamden. Uh, I went to a school in Hamden, Connecticut called Shepherd Glen. Now, if anybody remembers that school, then they'll know it's legit. Uh, currently, I believe it's not a school no more. I, I, I think the building's just up and there's nothing there. But if you're on Skiff Street in Hamden and you go up the hill and down the hill, it was on your right next to that whole big field over there. So that used to be Shepherd Glen Elementary. The principal was uh, Joseph DeBacco. He was amazing. I had Mr. Early, Miss Monroe. Uh, great people, great people. Um, I learned a lot from Hamden too. If you're familiar with the area, it's not necessarily that ghetto, but it's um, not the best area. And uh, me being who I am, it, it taught me a lot. So I learned even more street smart. I'm uh, very street smart. I'm really not book smart. I don't care to be book smart. Okay, I'll just, let's just get that out there. Uh, so Shepherd Glen, we were definitely in Hamden for six years for sure. We winded up moving back here, North Haven, this house. And uh, it's me and my dad right now. And we share all the bills in the house basically. And my sister comes time to time and she helps out with bills when she's here and not here. So uh, currently working on getting a house bought slash built with my girl. Uh, we're hoping in the next two, three years maybe. But uh you know so let's fast forward i guess uh freshman year of high school i had a uh, really rough times here with my dad uh we argued all the time you know i was like 16 and i, I didn't have a job and all that and so it's, it's crazy how much happened in freshman year but 16 didn't really have, like have a job and all that and you know we argued so much that i actually moved out and i made a mistake of moving back in with my mom and at the time my mom met somebody whose name i won't mention and they lived in Brantford. So I went to Brantford High School for one year. One year. Brantford, Connecticut. And public school, whatever. Brantford High School. And through there, I met uh, two very amazing women who became really close friends with me. I met their families. We were friends for a while. Don't really talk too much right now. I'm sure they don't even know I do YouTube. But I talked to one recently. But uh, that's because they're going through a breakup. And obviously, I check in on people that I care about. So, but... You know, during the Brantford time, uh, I've had many things stolen from me. I've had many things destroyed. Uh, here's a good timeline. The first year I was in Brantford, my freshman year, was the year that the Xbox One came out. And it was a, a gift for me for Christmas. And, you know, after seeing my mom get high and then, like, like to give you guys, like, an idea, everyone said that my mom used to do all that. And I never really, like, saw it firsthand. So one day I put up my phone in the bathroom and I set it up on record and I basically caught her in the act and uh it was a really weird feeling seeing that because all your life you hear about it but you've never seen it so you don't really know until you see it and uh it was a weird feeling but uh she's had a big big effect on me i've had my things stolen i've had my things pawned uh you name it and uh what really hurt was is the day that i was fed up with her i moved out and when i i went to my dad's for a week because of the issues and then i went back to go get my stuff and when i came back the xbox one was gone it was brand new. It cost $500 at that time. So think about that. Like think about getting a Series X and having someone pawn it on you. Uh, it's a really crappy feeling. But 
Uh, that happened, and I told her that she has until the time I pack and leave to get it. And mind you, my mom never has any money. She's always selling her stuff. Uh, but I have to give her credit to this day that she actually did get it back. And I have that Xbox One right there. And it was mine, and I know it was mine because I had certain scratches on it. And uh, it was 100% mine. I had all my stuff on it. It was legit. So I don't know how she got it back. I don't question it. I really don't care because I got my stuff back. So uh as i left you know she jumped on me attacked me threw a heel at the back of my head you know um because i was like a big support for her and i was leaving and it was kind of like another uh person to rely on who was leaving now i came back with my dad and things got a lot better and uh during the freshman year you know um i wanted to do work but i always wanted to do work on my own and my dad knew someone who was selling an ice cream company so I attempted to get a loan for it and uh, they weren't really fond of giving me a loan and I was like really really young so basically with no credit swear to god no credit no nothing I was a primary on a loan and my dad co-signed for it and I bought this piece of land that had a freezer on it it had a, a office building and it had a big like warehouse building for like storage and all that and uh, that is what kind of like started my business you know my dad helped me out he did the oil truck driving and you know kind of like fast forward through high school um, you know, once the business started taking off, I really worked my, my butt off. And, uh, to tell you the type of grind I had, uh, I had to pay someone who just had a driver's license to drive the ice cream truck. I'm talking like an ice cream truck now that goes around neighborhoods. Okay. And I have one of those trucks and a big freezer. So I wasn't even ready for like dis distribution. I was just ready for like my own sale. If that makes sense like i can't sell to other people who have ice cream trucks i can only sell what's on my truck because i wasn't really ready i had no money uh so i actually had to pay somebody who had a license to drive the truck just so i could sell the stuff because i didn't have a license at the time now i didn't get a license till i was 18. that was purposely uh the reason for that is because there are no rules when you're 18 and have a permit if you get your permit at 16 you're grandfathered into the rules and it carries on till you're 18. if you just wait till you're 18 there's no rules when you have your permit and then there's no rules when you get your license so that's what i did i didn't want any rules so uh, i had a 2007 jeep grand cherokee it was my first vehicle um and then you know so throughout high school i was never like all the other kids um i had very few friends i liked it like that the few friends i had were very real with me and uh i wasn't the boat shoe shorts above my knees type guy i wasn't the football jock um i played hockey my whole life but i wasn't on the hockey team uh, i'm not going to say what i think of the north haven hockey team at the time but uh, i wasn't too fond of them so i really wasn't fond of like any big group like that to be honest um and truly i didn't need them i mean uh you know you're talking about a kid who was making like 60k uh, in high school, like freshman year, and uh, and it only got progressively bigger throughout sophomore, junior, and as the high school went on, I was like, I don't need this. Like, you know, I thought I was the king at the time, but I was never really involved with other people. So, um, if I could rewind to my mom throughout high school as well, uh, I paid for her to go to rehab. Uh, we got her cell phones. We got her places to stay. I say we, me, but um, you know, my sister helped out here and there. But I, I bought her many things. Uh, to give you an example, the rehab alone was like four or five grand. So, um, and I'm not trying to gloat or not, and I'm just kind of like sharing a little bit about me. So, uh, in sophomore year, I was introduced to Dodge for the first time in 2016, a year after the Hellcat was released. And once my buddy showed me the Hellcat Supercharger one, I fell in love from that day. And ever since then, I had that goal to get a Hellcat. So that's kind of how that came up. And, uh, you know, once I graduated high school, I took a year off and I really pushed my business. I gained a lot more customers. I got, um, so now I'm at the point from freshman to, to senior year, I'm at the point where now I have a delivery truck for stores. Now, mind you, this is just my business, delivery truck for stores. I have three ice cream trucks like that you see around neighborhoods. Uh, they do private events, parties, all that stuff. And, uh, one is not in use, but it's a classic. I'm trying to restore. It's just crazy expensive to do. And uh, I have trucks in my lot who use my electricity and they pay monthly to stay there. So I make money on that. Uh, my freezer's full. To give you an idea, to fill up my freezer with ice cream, if I like packed it from like the floor to the ground, um, with leaving like the floor space because you can't put any product on the ground. I'm talking like from the shelves all the way to the ceiling because I can do that. Uh, I'd say it cost about sixty to $70,000 to fill up my freezer. And... Uh, there's no backup power, but for that freezer to completely ruin my product, I need to uh, probably have like about two days 
Uh, it all, everything will stay cold and good enough for two days. It's at negative 40. It's very insulated. It's, it's, a, it's a commercial freezer, okay? It's like triple, quadruple the size of my bedroom. So um, now I'm starting to wholesale distribute, all that, all that. I got all my customers, and my dad pushed me to do HVAC. And uh, around this time, my dad was getting too old and a lot of pain for the oil. So he actually came on with me in the business. So now... Uh, to give so like in today's time I work for the company now try to follow me there's a big company in Massachusetts okay they come down from Massachusetts to Connecticut and that's where I buy my ice cream from then I put that ice cream in my freezer and resell it and use it also for my own sales okay so let's get that out of the way that company that comes from Mass I work for them as well yes I have, I have many jobs okay I deliver for them I start at 3 30 in the morning and I get out whenever I'm done, but roughly around 12, one o'clock, okay? Once I leave there, I go to my business and finish up for the day. When I'm at the Massachusetts company, I'm not gonna say their name, um, my dad's there and he's running the show. So it's almost like a 50-50 business at this point, but um, at the end of the day, if anything ever went to court, I would win. So that's all you need to know. But we work actually very well together, especially with our past of arguing and fighting and and, and to, you know had a fist fight and a, i mean crazy stuff crazy stuff so you know I, I don't really know how much more i can go into detail i mean like so uh the company from mass actually i make around like 60k a year i know people like wonder how much i make uh my own ice cream company i will not say how much i make but it's uh over six figures that's all you really need to know it's all i'll probably share um so i know it's a business so you know a couple years ago was like my best year and now we're starting to get back because of covid and everything but uh 22 years old i purchased three dodge chargers um down payment decent and credit that's what you need you don't necessarily need a cosigner but it's very if you get messed up on your interest rate that's when i would say get a cosigner with a lengthy credit now for my first charger rt i put five grand down i paid 550 a month i went to my scat and uh, I put five grand down. I paid eight forty eight a month. Fast forward to the jailbreak. I put about like thirty eight thousand down, and I pay like nine something. Uh, insurance is very cheap, so all my ice cream trucks are registered under my business name, along with my charger. Okay, the reason for that it goes on a commercial policy, drops the rate from five hundred to seven hundred a month on insurance to around two hundred and thirty. So be smart with your money. I'm a very smart businessman, which is why I never really went to college. I wanted to go to college in business management to kind of excel my knowledge, but uh, I truly didn't think with the, the way my business was going that I really needed it. So I'm not a college boy. I have a year of heating and air conditioning done. I do some side jobs for that. Um, there's a lot to know in heating and air conditioning. I'm not even going to get involved. I'm not even close to a license. I don't want a license. I'm happy with what I do now. Um, I do some stocks. I had AMC. If you know, you know, I pulled out actually uh, at the good time. So I don't do any Bitcoin. I don't do stock shares or trades or whatever that is. I'm really not that educated in it. I know how it works, but I couldn't apply what I know to make it work for me, if that makes sense. So, I mean, so like that's what I do for work. Um, I'm not going to share my address. I mean, I'm not going to share the address of my company. I'm not going to do none of that or the other company that I work for. You know, that's got to stay a little private. But my schedule is usually like I wake up at 2.40 in the morning, every morning, and I don't get home till like sometimes 12 o'clock at night. And that's my choice. OK, so I'm not like I don't want you guys thinking like I'm a 22 year old kid who is working his butt off to afford like the Hellcat, let's just say. No, um, I don't need to work my butt off to afford it. I'm not trying to sound cocky. I just I just choose to have two jobs. I don't need two jobs, but it's about that hustle and it's about that grind. So without two jobs, um, it would have taken longer to get a Hellcat, you know? It would have taken longer to buy this and buy that and do that. I mean, you know, I have a Series X. I have a MacBook. I mean, you know, I have three, three, two GoPros. I mean, I'm like, you know, I work for what I want, and that's like the key. So um, other cars I'm interested in, really like any cars. I'm not really interested in Honda and electric cars, but... Um, if your Honda's completely gutted out and has like 650 horsepower, then I'm interested. Other than that, I don't like really care about like the Type R and all that. I just don't. Does the Type R does handle very well, but well, that that's for another story. But um, you know, so this is why like I've been really late on my videos, and I'm sorry. Uh, I feel like maybe you guys don't quite grasp like the whole me and my mom situation. So like I came to a point where, 
you know, after all the attacks. And I have pictures. Maybe I'll include them in here if I can find them. She's, she's destroyed apartments. She's destroyed uh, the house many times. She put holes in the walls. I mean, you name it. Detergent on the wall. She got evicted one time, you know, and who had to pay for all that? Mm. But um, you may ask why I helped my mom. And it's because I'm at the point where I've already tried to help her quit the drugs. And it's to the point where, like, my sister doesn't really talk to her anymore. And my mom ended up having another son, and he lives with her. And she's, like, better. It's not, like, as bad as it was when we were a kid. I mean, he's not getting attacked and the shit beat out of him every day and all that. But it's it's one of those things where she's my mother. And, you know, I either don't talk to her or just accept who she is as my mother. Okay? And I kind of just accepted who she is. I mean, I've gone through years of trying to help her. And it, to me, it's just one of those things where I think if she truly wants to help, she has to help herself. Okay? Now, um, you want to talk about money, cars, you name it, I've gotten it for her. Um, I'm always there for her. I buy her furniture. I mean, I've done a lot for her. Lately, I've stopped. I need to focus on myself. But it was stressful, but it taught me a lot. You know, it really did. I mean, to be honest with you, I could see who's a druggie from a mile away. Like, and I like that. I like my surroundings. I like the street knowledge. I don't really like the book smarts. Um, you know, um, the business loan that I took for the business is paid off, if anyone's wondering. The property alone could be worth like 800K. I would assume it's no less than seven commercial property. It's, it's expensive. So um, the taxes I pay are really expensive. Not gonna say what town I'm in, but it's not North Haven, I'll at least tell you that. But, uh, you know, but I'm on that hustle, you know? And uh, like I said, I, I, you know, I'm bouncing all over the place. Just wanna give you guys information here and there. But, you know, I accept who she is, and, and, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not a charity case, like I said, so don't feel bad. If anything, it's only made me get stronger. And uh, throughout all these years, you know, like my dad has a lot of brothers and, and one sister. And uh, I was always like the dummy of the family, okay? Uh, and a lot of people made fun of me and my family. And if any of my family members are watching this, I'm just going to be... I'm, I'm blunt honest about everything, so this is this is how it is, but... Uh, out of all the years that like the family joked around about me and, and said I was stupid or this, this and that, you know, um, whether you were joking or not, I always took it to heart, especially because of uh, my mother and how she turned out. And uh, I strived every day to be as far from her as I could be. So although you guys made all those jokes, um, you know, haha on you now, but I'm doing good for myself. And uh, my family's not necessarily all assholes to me, but there's a couple people that I don't like and a couple people that I really like. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just work hard. I mean, you know, a couple of my uh, cousins have families. I mean, you know, everything's good. I have like a medium sized family, you know. Uh, I see my mom on holidays. I try to see her here and there. It's really hard to, and it's uh, really a shame when I show up to the house and she's all messed up on drugs. So that's kind of why like I've distanced myself. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like my mom from the Mother's Day video, and that's fine. Um, you know, I wasn't, I'm not trying to blast her now, and I'm not trying to blast her on that video. I mean, that's truly who she is. Um, if you rewatch the video, you can kind of, like, tell that she's done drugs. I mean, it's, it's obvious, but, um, you know, she's someone who I'd say something, and in, in a week she forgets, and it's a little upsetting. But, you know, what are you going to do? I accept it. It's not like I just, I don't know how to explain it. Someone like that needs support, you know. Uh, a mother of three who's a drug addict but absolutely loves her kids to death. Mind you, there's drug addict parents out there who never talk to their kids. She calls me almost every day, okay? Like, she's trying, and, and I'll give her that. I'll give her my time because she's trying. But money-wise, maybe not so much anymore. But it's, um, it's, it's a complicated situation, and it kind of just, like, is what it is thing. I mean... I just try not to think about it. That's all. It's really like all you could do. You know, ignore the past. Try to. Uh, it's only, like I said, it's only made me stronger. Um, it only strived me to just do anything but be useless. <laughs> like, you know, so like to give you an idea, you know, I'm a business owner. I work for a business. I mean, this answer is like the number one question what I do for work, okay? Um, yes, I make over six figures a year. Okay. Um, that's like that big question everyone wants to know. Okay, cool. But, um, 
you know, it's really like no one's business, but I'm just kind of like honest with you guys. So, you know, that's really about it. I mean, that's, that's a summary, a little bit of me. That's like the best I could do. Uh, I didn't really write anything up. I just kind of did this on the fly because I actually finally had time in my life to do something. But, you know, if there's any questions you guys have about me, leave them in the comments. Um, if it's questions about my mom, you could ask if it's questions about my dad or, or whatever. I mean, siblings, I mean, you ask it. And if I deem it's either appropriate or something I can answer, I will probably respond to everybody. So, but that's just the truth. If you comment something, you're going to get the truth. You're not going to get no BS. So uh, stay tuned for the next video for tints. I don't know if tints will come out before the car show. Uh, that's my hometown car show, so um, I'm hoping it's a banger. <laughs> hoping a lot of cool cars come. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, Sunday, uh, North Haven, Washington Ave, uh, BMW dealership is supposed to be having a car show. So supposed to be. So uh, I'll be there. And uh, like I said, if you want to meet me, come by. Uh, don't be afraid to come up to me. I'll be with a little, probably a little group of friends, and that's about it. So other than that, thank you for watching. Any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you.